you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy scripture by wisdom ministries march 10th wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st matthew chapter 5 verses 17 to 19 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets I have come not to abolish but to fulfill For truly I tell you until heaven and earth pass away not one letter not one stroke of a letter will pass from the law until all is accomplished Therefore whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends in matthew's gospel especially jesus is so as not being a dissident break away from the traditions of the jews he was not a heretic or a blasphemer He was the last in the great line of prophets sent to be God to his people. Last of all, God sent his son. And so in today's passage, he strongly emphasizes that it is not his intention to abrogate the Jewish law, but rather to develop and complete it. In the verses that immediately follow today's passage, Jesus gives six very clear examples of what he means. He quotes, a number of moral situations contained in the law and the source how he expects his followers not only to observe them but to go much further in understanding their underlying meaning the law is not to be downgraded in any way rather it is to be transcended into a higher level up to the time of jesus and this is and this is clearly exemplified in the pharisees and scribes as they appear in the gospel perfect observance of the law focused on external observances jesus will show that true observance must also be with the heart and mind christians too can become ob- obese with the external observance of church laws and regulations it can become a source of uh, scrupulosity and fear this can happen during the lenten season when we are encouraged to do penitential acts We need to remember that these acts do not stand on their own and only have meaning if they deepen our relationship with God. In all things, our ultimate guide must be the law of love. love. No truly loving act can be ever sinful, although at times it may violate the letter of uh, the law. Yes, my dear friends, God is uh, incapable of uh, not desiring love what is truly best for us god is and will always be love and we are meant to be with god forever try keeping that message just to yourself amen may god bless us